Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to compare Cloud Scoot, Cursor, and Windsurf. First, go to the Cloud Platform and make sure you are logged into your account. Once you're signed in, type a prompt like generate a code for a calculator. Cloud will begin generating the code immediately and you'll see the response appear on the right side of the screen. After the code is ready, you can view the complete structure of the calculator, which usually includes HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can copy this code and run it in your browser. The interface is simple and clean and Cloud responds quickly with working code. Now, go to the cursor. When it opens, you'll see options to start a new project, clone a repo, or connect to an existing project using SSH. For this task, click on the file option at the top left corner and then select new text file. In the editor, you can now type a prompt like create a calculator using HTML and JavaScript. The cursor will generate the code directly inside the editor window. You can scroll down to see the full response. Cursor feels more like a real coding environment and it gives you better control of your files and structure. Then, go to Windsurf. Once you're signed in, click on File in the top left corner and choose New Text File. In the blank editor, type a prompt such as build a basic calculator using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The AI assistance on the right side of the screen will provide the code. You can read through it and make edits or ask follow-up questions in the same area. Windsurf is lightweight and simple to use, although it doesn't give you as much control over the projects as Cursor does. When comparing the code generated by each, Cloud gives clean and quick responses but lacks built-in preview or editor features. Cursor provides a more advanced setup showing the full code inside an organized editor with helpful tools, making it ideal for real front-end projects. Windsurf delivers working code, too, and allows for quick edits, but it's more basic in terms of tools and structure. In the end, all three tools are helpful, but for front-end coding, Cursor offers the best experience. It has a proper coding environment, better layout, and useful features that make coding easier and more efficient. That's why Cursor is the winner. For more information, check out the links given in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.